August 1st. Yeah, you know, I forgot to mention one thing. When I said about this package, pick it up. It's also just a 60 pound package that I'm delivering with 60 pounds. And with all these numbers, the fives, 6.6, .6, the man's number being six, and then that package weight being 60 pounds, I was born in 1960. Yeah, and then I'm seeing even on this truck that I'm driving, it's called, it's got a picture of a, a buck, a deer buck. That's a male, uh, jumpy, hurting, but it's called 10 points. It's got 10 points. We've all heard in the Bible about the 10 horns. Yeah, I had a time when I was working out in the gym. Now, I don't fully understand all this, but I know the Lord's using me in bigger ways than I can imagine. Uh, it's a lot of the things that I've seen, you know, in, in dreams and in reality. But I was in a gym working out. Now, this was a weird reality. And uh, the machine that I was running on, I was running on a machine trying to, you know, stay in shape. That's when I was living in my shop. And, uh, ambulance my machine was right in front of the window where you can look outside while you're running <laughs> and uh, I didn't notice there was an accident up the street and the cars backed up all the way to the front of my window that was where the last car was right in front of my window okay now this is the way the Lord works okay he does whatever he wants anything he wants and it'll happen, I guarantee it. That's where faith kicks in. And, you, and that's what built my faith up, knowing. Knowing this. But anyhow, an ambulance came up behind that car with its lights on, like like an emergency, like kind of like what we're in today. <laughs> and uh, I looked down at my machine to see how long I'd been on it. Like I said, the lights were flashing in front of my eyes. And it said 44 minutes and 44 seconds. And then I looked at the tag of that car that was in front of my window at the same moment. And it said 44 dash TBU. In other words, like the Lord chose me. Now I know Obama's the 44th president. But the Lord chose me to be the 44th. It doesn't matter if people here voted Obama to be the 44th. The Lord chose me to be the 44th. I don't understand it yet. But I know he chose me. And it says at the end days, one will be accepted and the other will be rejected. Now if the Lord chose me and everybody here has rejected me and my message, what does that tell you? I'm not here trying to tickle ears either. But I believe that's the reason why things are going to happen the way they're going to happen. Because see, generally when the Lord chooses somebody and it goes according to the way He chooses. Now see, I've been doing nothing but prophesizing. I've been prophesizing that this is a damned nation. It's a perverted nation. I prophesized that this nation's going to be nuked and destroyed in one hour. Just as it's written in the Holy Bible, Revelation 18. This is the choice that was made by people of this world, the things that they choose. 
They chose to follow what's in this world rather than the Word of God. You know, I mean, those of us that are the wise, I know you all are looking forward to leaving, just like I am. But I believe that's what the Lord chose me for. Because, see, I want His will to be done, and I am prophesying it. Not only am I prophesying it, I believe it. And because I believe it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it says, if the Lord, if God curses this nation, it's going to happen. The Bible even says, more blessed is he that prophesies than those that speak in tongues. Tell you, when they removed Jesus Christ out of everything here, and you better remember the power in his name, in Jesus Christ. You don't call on God, Abba the Father, you call on Jesus. Because Jesus went to the cross for our sins. I pay close attention. All glory goes to my Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let anybody deceive you. getting ready to go but hell on earth is going to break open here pretty soon and remember what it says we are to go out into the streets and to bid them to come to the wedding God blesses be with the Holy Spirit Remember, when you get a chance, any opportunity you get, praise our Lord Jesus Christ. Wait till we see him. You know, I never realized my love for him until all this began. When people tried telling me to speak less, it just increased it. It's like they put fuel on a fire. They said, I'm, I'm burning for him. I mean, I am hot. I'm not lukewarm, you can be sure of that. And I'm not cold either. I'm burning hot. I long to be with them too. All the holy angels, they all know how my love for the Lord. I guarantee you that. I believe I came here for this. I'm pretty sure I did. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit.